Hey guys, part two to zone three of these videos. Excuse me, I just want to show you some other things I have here. I have a fig, and there's another fig over there with the coffee, because I missed these last time. Uh, here's a little on its way to growing. This is a kiwi. I have over here raspberries. Disregard, this is like a storage area, some raspberries. Big mango tree that produces lots of mangoes that the dogs love. This is a small habo takaba, which is a fruit here in the tropics. And then we just put in, Chenny's just putting in this living wall here so we can replace this in two years. I'll take this down when this is big and strong. So, pardon me, I'm just gonna jump. All right. And now, here is a cacao I planted two years, or I'm sorry, a year ago, and it's already doing great. I think it's actually starting to flower. Maybe that was the other one. But anyway, big mango above me. Uh, this one's off limits to the dogs, which is nice. This is the Cuban orange that you saw in the first video. Uh, here we have an established guayaba. And I'll show you some of the fruits here. I think I showed this in the last video. We have guayabas here. They're falling all over, hanging with the mangoes. A natural bridge with this coconut tree fell. Um, that's gonna plant other coconuts there, which is fantastic. And then this is a bridge that I'm gonna walk over in a moment. Chenny made this with three pieces of bamboo and they're lightly tied together and we have a small handrail uh, made out of a wire. And this is gonna extend into eight. So right now it's three pieces of bamboo and we're gonna do eight wide and then we might do a double stack on top to make it extra secure and it goes over to what I call the island which is um, a separated part of my property, a little bit of a farm area uh, that's separated by the river. So really quick, this is another mango that's actually not fruiting. Big giant killer coconut because if these guys land on your head uh, you are suffering a severe injury. But these are awesome because these coconuts are not for drinking these have very, very thick meat in them. So this is really good. People love to cook with these ones, open them up and use the insides to cook. So I let my neighbors come over when I have a ton of these and they just take them. Uh, this is my new coffee farm from the other side. So you can see we've got about a dozen and a half, maybe two dozen coffee trees here. First year, they're just growing, but you can see already a week after being planted, they have a lot of new growth coming in already. Uh, this is a Moringa and while we were restructuring uh, for the coffee we cut some of the Moringa pieces and just threw them in the ground and hoped and as you can see they are starting to root and get flower growth or leaf growth. Even down here you can see new so yeah, things thrive very well here. We didn't have to do much other than just throw them in the ground. And right here, tons of different variations of plantains. Um, there are a few different types. You can see those are a bit more square. And then we have the traditional, or I have the traditional long plantains. I'm not sure if I can spot any. And there's some more of the smaller square ones. I don't think we have any fruits here, but we've got another coconut tree and there's a good amount of coconuts on there, maybe 50 or so. Some of them are ready to be taken, some of them are a week away. And then, as you can see, more abundance of coconuts all around here. So for us, for my neighbors, and for all the animals that are around. So this is the way they've restructured the river. Uh, that's where the road goes. If you can see that bridge there, this is the small hospital building and beyond that, the soccer field. Um, so I have this beautiful river that they just widened and, and made deeper. Uh, so it's actually more enjoyable now. I have the two beaches over there as you saw in the last video. Uh, and now I'll use the next couple of minutes. I wanna show these. I think, I'm not sure you can correct me, this is passion flower. This grows up this vine up this tree and it pumps out these nice flowers. I don't know if it fruits or not, but we will see. So yeah, lots of coconuts and you could tell something's been getting in there, some type of animal, bird, not sure, but they have a way of getting into those coconuts. Pretty clever, because it's not easy. 
All right, so I'm gonna try to record this and not bust my ass. It's, it's an injury week, so it's likely to happen, but you guys will be the <clears throat> the viewers of this crazy experience, All right, which is most secure. Here we go. A little slack line balancing act until I can get to the railing. Oh, all right, there we go. All right, just to show you what I'm walking on, and it's very flexible. I'm hoping <laughs> that it stays. I don't think this is a good idea to do with the camera, to be honest, because um, all I'm holding on to is this little flimsy wire. So once we improve this bridge, and I've walked over it before, just not holding a camera and being distracted, um, it's very flexible. I don't know if you can see the range that that's moving, but I'm about 180 pounds. And, yeah, it gets flexible. So anyway, there, right in front of us here, this tree is an almond tree or almendre, and it actually has a bunch of fruits or nuts growing on it. The lapas or scarlet macaws love that tree um, for hanging out on it and eating and and enjoying, you know, just a nice resting place that was kind of built for them historically. So thankfully, when they restructured this river, which is huge now. Um, they kept that for me and they salvaged that. A couple of fruit trees got knocked down, but over there you see the manzana de aguas and the lime tree from a different angle and all the new plantings that are going to be coming in soon. And those tires, those big tires were actually used as old erosion control, I guess in the, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I'm going to try to get off of here without dying. All right. Here we go, okay. So that was the bridge. But that's gonna be thicker and stronger soon, so when you guys visit, you'll be safe. Um, so anyway, those tires were erosion control for the river. When they restructured it, we have now planted, Chenny and I, tons of bamboo. Uh, mostly the thinner bamboo, which is gonna create a strong root system, uh, but at the same time, not be invasive and and take over everything else so they used to use these tires interestingly the type of fitness that i teach and and people can come here for we're going to use those tires for flipping and sledgehammering so i'm going to transport them over to the concha this week um, now that they're exposed and cleaned and jenny and i have been cleaning them out because they were filled with rocks from however long they've been in there decades of river flowing through so they're out, we're gonna use them. Um, I'm gonna finish this video with just a fun little exciting thing for me as we loop back around my giant oregano bush. Um, amazing, this thing has grown so big since I've been here. And back to the mama coffee. And you can see we have lots and lots and lots and lots of coffee beans coming in on all levels, all heights, all throughout, everywhere in here more and more starting to bud here as I circle around and I can pull some branches you can see lots and lots of coffee beans and soon they will turn a red hue and they will be ready to be pulled and dried and harvested and the first batch of Vasconia coffee at the Jungle Temple will be produced shortly. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.